Hey everybody, this is Brian, and this is just a video note. Um, there's no development in this video, and there may not be for a while. Um, I'm going to explain in the video, but again, this is more of like a video diary for me to look back on and say where I was, you know, what I was doing, what was going on in life. They really just kind of help me reflect and make sure I'm going in the right direction. So, oh, let me, where do we even begin? I'm going to try and do this all in one take, and I'm going to try and do it really short, but this is actually a pretty long story. So, I started down this path of upgrading all my videos to Qt6 and things were going real smooth. I, I, to this day, still have a lot of the code done. I just got to sit down and record it. And I mean, just recording this video is a bit of a struggle. Um, it, it's unfortunate because a lot of the code is just sitting there. Um, and a lot of folks on Udemy who have my courses are sitting and going, hey, we love these things. Keep cranking them out. And I'm just, I have to slow way down. The reason being is my blood pressure started going up and yeah, I know it sounds a bit silly. I kind of didn't really take it serious either. And it just started creeping up, up, up. And this was, you know, over, over a period of years, it was creeping up and I did some minor adjustments and things and I started medication for it. And that was, you know, about, oh man, I want to say a year ago, actually less than a year ago, not a big deal. Right. And it was under control and everything was going fine. And then one day, it just decided to shoot up. And I mean, it went way higher than 180. I was actually in the hospital with a 245 blood pressure and 150 pulse for four days. So um, I'm still recovering from that. That was literally like not even a week ago. Uh, really gave me and the wife a good scare. I was kind of wondering if that was just my time to go. And it's, it's hard to describe. I don't, I don't remember those four days at all. And you can hear it in my voice. I'm struggling just to talk. And a lot of that, I think, is just recovery, right? So they did a full analysis. Um, they decided that, yes, I have a brain. I was just as surprised as you are. But my brain's fine. My lungs are fine. My heart's fine. I was super happy about that. Liver is good. Stomach, blah, blah, blah. Everything's good. Kidneys, they suspect were bad. But then it's hard to describe at the very beginning they thought it was like my kidneys were going but then at the very end they said no your kidneys are fine and it just kind of messed with me so they explained that where is it blood pressure isn't necessarily always bad lifestyle bad diet those kind of things i'm actually a fairly lean guy and i live a somewhat healthy lifestyle probably the standard american diet i'll admit but uh, they said that blood pressure sometimes is just genetics. And so going through all this, my dad died at 47, and I am 47, so I really thought, yeah, today's the day. Um, just recovering from all that, so it's going to be a minute before I really record pretty much anything. Um, again, just making this video is kind of a struggle. Um, I did actually, doing all this, kind of going down that downward spiral, I started you know, realizing I couldn't record as much. So I started getting into the stock market and I got into options trading. I made this video SPX zero DTE and I'm going to make another video because I actually, you know, through this whole process started writing code in Python that predicted SPX. And what do I mean by predicted? I mean, almost within $20 right down to laser pointer accuracy of where the stock market's going to go. And if you understand options trading, you know that if you know where the stock price is going to go, you can make a lot of money very, very quickly. So I'm going to make, I'm going to attempt to make another video. I'm going to take a short break because this video is just draining me. And I know that video is going to be a bit longer. Um, but I want to go over, you know, some of the Python code and how I got to these conclusions and what's going on. Um, in that process, I actually ended up joining a Discord channel called Axe Options. It's it costs money. It's not a free group, um, but these are professional traders and it's kind of like I found a second home. These are really great folks. So you'd shout out to them. And if you end up joining, don't come in there saying, Hey, I saw void realms. They're not, they're not going to have a clue who void realms in. I'm in there as Brian C. Um, but they're really great folks and I'm learning a lot. So I'm, uh, I'm going to go lay down. I'm getting kind of drained. Um, I hope to talk to you all soon.